It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. With me, oh, you know him, Shaquille O'Neal. You know this guy, too, Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs up against the Golden State Warriors. And for Golden State, this is a team they knocked out in the first round in last year's playoffs, so they'd better be ready. Some extra motivation on this one. And the Golden State Warriors thrust into the role of villain after acquiring Kevin Durant and Draymond not holding back after winning the title. Shaq, your thoughts? Listen, people love to cheer against super teams, and it's good for the league to have a villain. <laughs> That's my villain left. Oh, what was that? That was, <laughs> wow, that was scary. Yeah. My goodness. Wow. The character and the chemistry of this team is without question. And you can root for the underdog for sure. But the <laughs> villains, it's basketball. That was nice. Let's see if we can scare Kevin Harlan as we throw it back. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> On the road and hungry for a win against a Western Conference rival, the Golden State Warriors are ready for this thing to get started. Alongside Chris Webber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Just a single game here at home. After this one, it's back on the road for the Spurs. And of course, LaMarcus Aldridge. Many wonder how they'll do without him. Find out. Yeah, and no question that it's a risky deal to make because it's the kind of move that can turn a team's fan base against the front office. But trading one of the most popular players on the team is always risky no matter what you get in return. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, guys, DeMar DeRozan grew up in California, and he idolized Kobe Bryant. Now, DeRozan says, Kobe was my favorite player. I watched everything he did, practiced almost all his moves, and DeRozan has become a multiple-time All-Star. Kevin? Well, D.A., you can see that influence. Great stuff. Thanks for the report. You know, Chris, I don't know if we can call it unexpected, but a couple highly regarded rookies have struggled so far to begin the year right out of the gate. You have to learn your way in here. Just because you were great on one level does not guarantee you success at this level. And that's why you have to come in with a great work ethic and an open ear and a heart that's really trying to understand the concepts of the game. It's a huge adjustment going from college to the pros. You think about it, you're playing against guys that are stronger, sure. guys that have more of a mental advantage because they've been through the situation that you're going through the first time over over and over and over. The game is much faster. Players are much better. And the thing I think is usually the biggest kind of separator of, of levels is that your athletic ability no longer means anything. Very rarely do you come from college being the best athlete and now the best athlete in the NBA. So many different levels and, and you just hope that guys don't get caught in the struggle but understand that the struggle for any player is part of the game, part of the transition from college to the pro. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Setting the floor for the Warriors. There's a tremendous pair of Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Durant is out there with Bell and its cousins in at the pivot, manning the middle. Here's Gasol following the basket by DeMarcus Cousins. Bledsoe with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Shots good by Middleton. And guys, this is what you like to see early on gaining a little confidence from range. Well, I wouldn't say that's his shot, but, but it's a shot he can make. And that really opens things up for the offense. And here's Bell following the three-pointer by Chris Middleton. Goes up the baseline. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Look, the defender has to try to stay in Clay's jersey, especially on the catch and shoot. Middleton outside. He kicks to DeRozan. And Thompson sends it back. Middleton against Durant. 
Cousins with the bucket. Cousins has got his second basket of the night. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now here's Gasol. And the pass to DeRozan. Six to shoot. Back to Gasol. Over Cousins. No good from Gasol. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Curry passes to Thompson. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Durant for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And they're facing the team that dismissed them from the postseason last year. So certainly a little payback in mind. No good from Bloodsoe. Oh, he finds a major hole in the D beyond the arc. They still can't cash in on it. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Thompson. Three. Durant's got himself on the board with three there. I like seeing that kind of sharp passing. Thompson making sure they get the best shot possible. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Passes it to Medu. Kicks it to Bloodsoe. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's DeRozan. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Well, he's having a tough go at it so far this quarter. Not much dropping for him. Here's Thompson. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, that's giving him too much space from mid-range. It doesn't hurt him there, but they can't keep doing that. Pass to Middleton. Bloodsoe outside. Medu passes to Bloodsoe. Shoots over Curry. No good from Bloodsoe. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 12-3 run. Cousins inside. He's up against Gasol. Counts the basket. And that's now six points here for Cousins. His mid-range game shows how far Cousins has come. So much more than just an inside threat. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. Jordan Bell, the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, helped lead Oregon to the Final Four. And C. Webb, he said he patterned his game after Draymond Green. Well, it's a lot of similarities to their game. I mean, I'll give you a, a different name. Ben Wallace, uh, Detroit's four-time Defensive Player of the Year. And another great role model for Bell as he looks to reach his potential. Now here's DeRozan. 35 points for him last game against the Clippers. Hey, look, he's not an easy man to defend. He'll get his points one way or another. The Spurs come into this one following a loss to the Clippers. Curry kicks to Cousins. Over Gasol. Cousins, no good. The movement and the shot selection are good there, but you can't hit them all. Ludzo, good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Here is Durant picked up 39 points in their last one against the Mavericks in Dallas. Bell passes to Cousins. Out to Thompson. Here's the three. Another three for Golden State. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Spurs trail by eight. Middleton outside. Pass to DeRozan. Back to Middleton. Lays it up off the glass. Middleton's got five points so far. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Curry dishes to Cousins. Back to Curry. Durant with a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Very slack defending. Playing with fire to leave him that open beyond the arc. Middleton finds DeRozan. Here's Medu. He's covered by Thompson. Middleton looking it over. And there's the pass to Gasol. Clock is at three. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Cousins. Warriors leading by six. Thompson passes to Durant. Buries it down low. Five points in the game. 
an extremely difficult cover. Think about this. Durant's combination of focus, length, and quickness, it has to be brutal. And it's DeRozan missing. Look, it hasn't happened yet, but he's got time to find his rhythm. And if he does, they can turn this thing around quick. And Cousins kicks to Curry. Bell with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Durant, that's good. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Chris, of current players who could eventually become coaches, who would you put in that category? There are a lot of brilliant guys that play this game, think the game through so well. Chris Paul, Ariza. Those guys come to mind for some reason to me. Uh, uh, Clay Thompson, yes. he, he comes to mind. And, and I don't know if it's the personality that I see these guys in or if it's the way that they approach the game. But, uh, yeah, uh, those guys come to mind. I definitely can see them taking the game to another level once they're playing days. Of it. And here's Bledsoe following the three from Kevin Durant. And there's the call on Durant. That's his first foul. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Steph Curry. Sean Livingston. DeRozan with it. And it's Iguodala picking him up. Six on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. And here we go. Fast break. Cousins has got it. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And now a chance to check out Klay Thompson. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Six in steals, and he's a flamethrower from distance. Top ten in the league and three-point shooting. And talk about being top ten in steals. I love his jumping the passing lanes and then stealing away your dribble. Spurs on defense. They trail by 11. He kicks it to Iguodala. Right side, Durant. Five to shoot. Pulls up. High post. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Bellinelli against Thompson. And here is Pirtle. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. That's a two from Bellinelli. And he gets the jumper to drop. Bellinelli. Bellinelli's got it back down to single digits for San Antonio. Golden State's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. Livingston finds Thompson. Now here's Iguodala. Here's Durant. That one wide left. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. He feeds it to Livingston. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Livingston's got his first bucket in this one. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And Bellinelli kicks to DeRozan. Passes to Bellinelli. Pass to Bledsoe. Beyond the arc. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Bledsoe. Walker's checked in for San Antonio. Golden State also making some changes. Yurebko comes in for Kevin Durant. And Cook subbed in for Klay Thompson. Warriors leading by 11. Livingston kicks to Cook. Back to Livingston. Six on the shot clock. From 10 feet out, no good off the back of the rim. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And finished off by DeRozan. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. 
Livingston. That's good. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Now here's Walker. Eight points his last outing. DeRozan passes to Walker. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. Here is Livingston. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Here's Cook. And it's Golden State with another. Yeah, uh, you know. Coach Steve Kerr may seem to have a laid-back demeanor, but knowing him personally, I tell you what, he's fiery. Uh, he's intense, and he wants to win. Uh, when tempers flare, don't be surprised to see him smashing clipboards and letting loose on the sideline. And it's Cousins with a foul. That is his first foul of the game. San Antonio making a switch here. Forbes checked in. On defense, the Warriors. Ten-point lead. To the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. Bangs home the trifecta. Ellen Ellie's got five points so far. I mean, he's finding some good shots early on. And what you like about it, he's not trying to do too much. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here is Forbes, currently averaging almost six points a game. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Igudala against Walker. From deep. The rebound by Cook. Kicks it to Livingston. Pass to Cousins. Over Pirtle. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. The NBA game drawing fans from every culture. And Pau Gasol definitely feeling the love from the Spanish and Latino community. Always notice the fans that uh, support us and make us feel uh, since pretty much since I got to the NBA all the Latino fans showed a lot of love and support towards me so I appreciate it. The game going global and no better ambassador than Pau Gasol. And as the players grow more international fans from every country and continent for that matter finding more and more reason to root for the NBA. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stats-wise? And through that first period, for me, their work on the glass has been the difference. Well, it means extra possessions, and that's certainly reflected in the score right now. Quincy Pondexter out there with Bellinelli. Then there's Pirtle, and it's Forbes in at the point. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Here is Forbes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. They get it back. Pirtle. There's the pass to Forbes. He kicks it to Bellinelli. They get a hand on it. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Cousins. Oh! Goodness. Wow. Crazy. And what about the quick hands of Cousins? Sure, he's an offensive juggernaut, but he also keeps his eyes open for steals as well. Now, here's Walker. He's covered by Livingston. Forbes, the pass to Walker. Just five to shoot over Yurebko. San Antonio, again missing. To the right side. Cook. And another basket for Golden State. Oh, and a nice look by Livingston. Keeping his eyes up. Locates the man. Spurs trail by 13. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here is Forbes. Forbes. 
It's deflected. A reverse. He lays it in. Quincy Pondexter. Pondexter's got his first two points. And it's Livingston with the ball for Golden State. Only given up two points this quarter. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. No, but I like that they attacked those weaknesses. They made them pay for a lackluster effort. The Spurs have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. San Antonio calls timeout. DeMarcus Cousins really the big final name in free agency last summer to land with the team. And <laughs> Greg, did he shock the NBA world with his selection? To take a one-year deal with the Warriors, nobody saw this coming. It makes sense for Boogie. Time to rehab and then join a contender for the back half of the season. You would think he'll get a much bigger and longer contract offer after this year. How Gasol's checked in for San Antonio. Then for the Warriors, Jordan Bell comes in for Andre Iguodala. And Steph Curry subbed in for Cook. Now here's Livingston, guarded by Walker. Outside Curry. But three doesn't go for him. And the Spurs going the other way now. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And really, man, they played their hearts out. M missed a couple opportunities down the stretch, and, and that was the difference. Absolutely right, Greg. That's all it takes. A play here, a play there, a detail that isn't accounted for, it stinks. Gasol finds Walker. Shot clock at two. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Walker's got his second bucket of the night. And what about the way Gasol sees the floor? So gifted at whipping the ball all over to the open man. Here's Curry, and it's Golden State with another. An open jump shot there, and their D not putting up any resistance today. Spurs trail by 14. And Forbes kicks to Gasol. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Pondexter, defended by Jerebko. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And if you're going to foul Pirtle, you have to make sure you really whack him. He's remarkable about finishing through the contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Chris Middleton's checked in for San Antonio. One shot. Ludso comes in for Walker. Golden State also making some changes. Durant's checked in for Yurebko. And it's Thompson in for Sean Livingston. The free throw drops for Pirtle. And the Spurs now in the post Kawhi Leonard era of the franchise. Uh, Greg, how do they recover, do you think? Uh, if any team can survive losing a player of Kawhi's caliber, it's got to be the Spurs. They have good depth, got a good return in the trade, and, and players will step up. It won't be the power they once were for a while, but they'll rebound in no time. And Forbes kicks to Bledsoe. Passes it to Gasol. Now the dish to Pirtle. Poked away. Ludzo passes to Pirtle. Outside Gasol. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Ludzo for three. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range. He's one for five. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Amazing floor awareness from Cousins. Skilled at spotting the open man. Bloodso finds Middleton. Bloodso outside. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Still first ball. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. To take a look at the Warriors. A terrific position for them as they hold up that illustrious top spot. But it's a long season as we all know. And, of course, San Antonio just need to take it a game at a time. And, you know, right now for San Antonio, they haven't made any of the strides they were hoping to see prior to the season. Again, hanging around at the bottom of the standings. The talent's not there, the great Plain and simple. You, you can't fault their effort, but they just don't have the roster to compete with the big boys. And the Spurs making a change here. DeRozan's checked in. 
Just five to shoot. From the baseline. Rebounded by Bell. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Durant against Middleton. Durant feeling it out a bit. Pass to Curry. There's the three. The rebound by the Spurs. Looking ahead to their next game and playing at New Orleans, they'll match up against the Pelicans. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Now here's Middleton. Five points in the game. From about 16. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. Uh, that just shows you can do everything right sometimes but still get the wrong result. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, we see new players coming into prominence for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, Greg Popovich gives his veterans credit for accepting it gracefully and helping the young guys be successful. He says it's a tribute to their character and awareness. Kevin? They certainly have established a great culture in San Antonio. Really something. DA, thank you. Now here's Middleton. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Here's Gasol. They trail by 16. Stolen by Thompson. The drive by Cousins. DeRozan against Thompson. Kicks to Bell. Curry on the wing. And Thompson puts up a deep three. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And so it's Budso. He brings it up for the Spurs. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. Matu, he's checked in for Jakob Bertel. Spurs. Chibizzi, Matu. Warriors on D. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. To end the cold streak, Steph Curry with the rebound. Wow, he's really been dragging them down. With the teardrop, got a piece of it. Bloodso against Curry. Bloodso kicks to DeRozan over Thompson, and he can't bank that one in. For the three, makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now here's Bledsoe. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. And there's the call on Curry. That'll be his second foul of the game. So outside. Pass to Medu. Six on the shot clock. Shoots the three. And, and capable of defending multiple positions, Bell has the speed and length to annoy anyone. Durant, the pass to Curry. Back to Durant. And Cousins kicks to Durant. Let's it go from the wing, and it's good off the back rim and in. Durant's got 12 points in the game. Now, it doesn't take a lot of time for Durant to get his shot off. He's so excellent in the mid-range. Middleton finds Gasol. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. DeRozan passes to Medu. Bloodsoe outside. Traps in the tray. He's got five. There isn't any player in the league who's going to pass up that shot. There was nobody near him. And there's the pass to Bell. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Here's Middleton. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Middleton's got his third basket of the night. Warriors leading by 16. Curry kicks to Thompson. 
Passes it to Bell. Back to Thompson. Durant against Middleton. Again, Golden State. Chris, when you played against a team that you had played on before, did you feel any extra motivation to do well against them? Always. They always got the business. Whether it was I left Golden State and went to Washington, had to give them a triple-double in 40 there. Whether it was after I left Washington, had to come back and give them a triple-double uh, and, and beat them bad and hug the crowd after. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of motivation. You definitely want to make sure you give your ex-team the business and make them regret at least for you know the 24 hours until the next game that they let you go <laughs> I love that thought process that's fun it's been a really tough quarter for him I mean he cannot get his shots to drop Bellinelli dishes to DeRozan Bell against Gasol just five to shoot here's Medu Steph Curry with the rebound Curry's got his fifth rebound in this one. 13 feet away. They get it back. Thompson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting shot. Uh, I mean, that's his pump fake. I mean, it works for almost anybody, but his is just great. For a shooter like Thompson, I mean, it's doubly effective. Clay Thompson. Uh, well, one thing you love about Clay Thompson is he's just cool and calm. I mean, he stays in his own lane. Steve Kerr says he's not low maintenance but he's no maintenance he plays hard at both ends he just wants to win and, and then he goes home and walks his bulldog Rocco well but bulldogs you can't really walk them that much I wonder if he's picking them I mean that, that's about it anyway and the first one drops and you look at Clay not a care in the world well, he's smooth. Uh, he has a carefree attitude. It helps in the locker room. I think it also helps him as a smooth shooter. I mean, even if he misses a couple, he's not thinking about it. He just keeps shooting. Walker's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And Golden State also making a change. Cook's checked in. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Oh, the skill, the quick release. Clay Thompson is a special shooter in the field and at the line. Great work to find the space to get off the open jumper. He's going to work hard for those. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Following the bucket by the Spurs. And the jam by Kevin Durant. <laughs> and did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screenplay. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Yeah, guys, and his teammates love it. Got to get him a few big pats on the back. Now, here's Gasol, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And it's Cook with the ball for Golden State. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Here's Igudala. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, Andre Igudala, an all-star in Philadelphia. And he has helped set the tone for the Warriors locker room ever since, Chris, he accepted a reserve role uh, back in 2014. Man, can you believe he's never won sixth man of the year? But you can make the case he should win it every year with how much he means to this Warriors team. And the first one at the line is good. Oh, he turns it up. And though Iguodala has become a long-range shooting threat, he still managed to struggle from the line. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for San Antonio. Yurebko's checked in for Golden State. Livingston comes in for Kevin Durant. That one misses. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Well, the much vaunted defense of the Warriors took a step back last season, falling from second in the league in defensive rank 211. But uh, it's tough to nitpick, but I'm sure it's an area they're looking at to address. Now, look at that. That's just a great all-around play. Getting into position for the offensive rebound, finishing strong on the putback. Playing big, willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against a guy who towers over him. 
Well, it's just an attitude, a way of life. You can't let people see you back down, or, or they take it as a sign of weakness and expect that treatment every time. Spurs trail by 18. Now DeRozan. He's got eight. Out to the wing. From deep, Walker. Here's Pondexter. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels, and it's gotten them up big. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you think was the main issue during the first half? Uh, we did make shots. Thank you for that insightful analysis, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Good to have you back. Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He had 16 points, three assists, and three rebounds. His great performance last game out seemed to carry right over into tonight. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Their ability to get into the paint and get to the rim has been deadly, constantly attacking the basket. It was clearly their intention right from the start to pound it inside as much as possible. And I don't see them straying from that strategy in the second half. It's going to be another paint-based attack. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, you live by the three and you die by the three. And today, <laughs> they're dying. <laughs> and as cold as they've been behind the arc, they keep firing from deep. What are you doing? I know they got a lot of ground to make up, but they can't continue with this game plan. Not working. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Oh, well, he's a tricky cover. He does a good job of sensing the defense, making the right move at the right time. Warriors leading by 18. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Thompson and Durant, the deadly shooting wing pair. Bell is out there with DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Curry in at the one. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. His first personal foul. Here's Curry, and it's Golden State with another. Uh, using so many devices to get a shot. I mean, that time, Curry on the catch and shoot. Bledsoe passes to Medu. He kicks it to Gasol. Bledsoe against Curry. Here's to Rosen, and a great assist by Bledsoe as that one goes in. Bledsoe's got three assists in the game. Curry passes to Bell. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now here's Durant. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. Durant does such a good job of getting high percentage offensive plays. I mean, you, you can see that over the years. Pass to Medu. Here's Gasol. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. And it's Bledsoe. That time on the assist by Gasol. Bledsoe's got seven points in the game. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Dishes it to Thompson. And another three for Golden State. How's that for a start? Good on all three attempts so far in the second half. 
Curry against Bledsoe. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Eric Bledsoe, a player who many thought might be a great fit in Milwaukee, but that wasn't the case. And I'm not sure if it was a play style issue or, or something else. Fact is, they moved him in the offseason after only a half season of trying things out. Certainly one of the more surprising moves in a wild summer. No good on that one. Eric Bledsoe, Greg, one of the league's best slashers. Yeah, he gets to the rim with regularity, and he finishes at a high rate, lives at the line. He is a nightmare in the open court. And the second free throw, good. Warriors leading by 20. It's Durant on the wing. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And he makes that one. Durant's got four this quarter. I love the attacking mentality of Durant. Look, when he's in the zone, he finds a variety of ways to score buckets. DeRozan against Thompson. Fires from the wing. Once again, off the mark by San Antonio. Back to Curry. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Six to shoot. No good on the triple. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Middleton finds DeRozan. Here's Medu. He's covered by Thompson. The shot by Middleton. Wide open. They get it again. Ludzo. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And at 78%, he's been a consistent shooter at the line for them all season long. And the Spurs making a change here. Bertles checked in. Well, with Kawhi Leonard gone, a new era for the Spurs. Even with the addition of DeMar DeRozan, San Antonio looks to be entering their most significant rebuild in decades. Yeah, but, but at least they were able to get a star in DeRozan. Now, I would call it more of a reload than a rebuild for the Spurs. Still a lot of talent to work with on that roster. Now, here's DeRozan after the miss from Clay Thompson. And DeRozan, here we go. And he drops it in from the low post. DeRozan's got four points now in the quarter. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Curry looking it over. Kicks it to Durant. Can he keep it going? And he hits the jump shot. Durant's got 22. Well, it's nice to have an option like him every time down the court. Spurs trail by 19. San Antonio calls timeout. Kevin Durant in the summer of 2017 took a $10 million discount to help the Warriors retain guys like Igudala and Livingston. This summer, a new deal. For a superstar like him, the max salary is already a discount. I mean, Kevin Durant deserves top dollar. And with a team moving into a new arena next year, they, they can afford it. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for San Antonio. Bledsoe kicks to Gasol. Back to Bledsoe. Shoots over Curry. Hurdle. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. They are just killing them on the interior. Warriors leading by 17. Curry dishes to Durant. Thompson for three. And the rebound goes to Pau Gasol. Gasol's got four rebounds now tonight. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And it's Cousins. That time on the assist by Curry. 
Curry's got four assists in the game. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. It's tipped and stolen by Cousins. Curry with it. Eric Bledsoe covering. Bucket is good. And it's six points for Steph Curry. Oh, and that's the floater Curry has perfected. I mean, difficult for the defense to predict exactly when he's going to use it. Pass to DeRozan over Thompson. The Warriors pull it in. Cousins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Right side, Durant. And that one hits back iron. A big mistake by the D, and they got away with it. To the middle, deflects the pass, and stolen by Cousins. The 17-footer, and Durant gets it to go. Durant's got 24. Here's Bledsoe. He's got 11. The pass to Pirtle. Gasol kicks to Bledsoe. Passes it to Forbes. Five to shoot. Lets it go with a three. No good from Bledsoe. And not his best day from three-point range. I mean, just one in the first half and still looking for his first here in half number two. Wow, he just does everything right there except hit the layup. Here is Forbes. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Cousins against Gasol. And that's going to be a treble. And if you're wondering where the points are coming from here tonight, here's a breakdown in the scoring between the front court and back court tonight for San Antonio. And their guards really have done what they could to keep it close. What little offense they've been able to generate has come from the backcourt. They just need a little more balance. Now here's Durant. Cousins, the pass to Durant. And then Durant with the dunk. Yes, sir. Oh, when Durant dunks the ball, it's such an effortless lift. He just goes up and throws it down like it's nothing. And so it's Bledsoe with it, bringing it up for San Antonio. Pass to Forbes. Feeds to DeRozan. Over Thompson. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Turns an easy jump shot into a tough one by going to the fadeaway. I mean, look what happened. Now the feed to Durant. He goes up again, and it's good on the way in. Durant's got 12 points now in the quarter. Something lit a fire under him this quarter. Their lead's safe as long as he's on the floor. Pass to DeRozan. Over Thompson. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And they just tried everything to stem the tide here, but nothing seems to work. Yeah, trying to recapture momentum. When the tide's running against you, very difficult to do. What will the young kids say today? Ride that wave. Now here's Budzo. Following the miss by DeMarcus Cousins, Budzo finds DeRozan. Outside for Budzo. And they get it. That's short off the rim. He's got to find better looks so or he's never going to pull out that funk he's in tonight. Outside Curry. Back to Cousins. To the paint. Pirtle with the steal. Here's DeRozan. Takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the layup. DeRozan's got 14 points. Now that was a sensational feed. He hit him right on the move. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, this is the final season the Warriors will have at Oracle Arena almost five decades in Oakland. And Chris, as we know, they'll move across the water to San Francisco. No doubt a bittersweet moment for the team and its core of fans here. Yeah, you just hope that the craziness of the crowd and that loyalty travels. You know, I'm hoping the fans here in the East Bay can make that journey. They deserve to be part of the Warrior story as it continues to be written. I mean, if you've seen what they're doing, you know, in the new Chase Center, right on the water, it's going to be special. Here is Forbes following the score by Golden State. Let's it go from deep. That shot off. And Golden State will go the other way with it. 
Here is Cook. Six points for him. Here's Livingston. Buries it from about 10 feet away. He's got 10. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here is Forbes. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Back to Bellinelli. Six on the shot clock. And the rejection by Igudala. Jarebko with it. He kicks it to Livingston. Now the pass to Cousins. From the left block. And it's good off the back rim and in. Cousins has got four points in the quarter. Uh, and that's just a beautiful setup by Livingston, showing the high basketball IQ. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And Forbes kicks to Bellinelli. Nice D from Cousins. Look, you can't defend down low much better than that. Refuses to give him an easy path to the buck. Yep, that one goes. Cousins has got 14 points. Just increasing their advantage. And right now, they're in a zone on both ends. Oh, that's why you see them flexing a little bit. They're feeling good about how they've dominated. Here's Pirtle following the basket by DeMarcus Cousins. And when Pirtle sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. Now, here's Livingston. He's got 10. Kicks it to Iguodala. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Jakob Pertl. And you're talking about a guy that can do so many things, make so many things happen. Iguodala heading to the line. The Warriors have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, think about it. There's plenty of centers on the Warriors rosters, but when the going gets tough, uh, you know, they can go small. Uh, you know, their Hampton Five lineup with Steph, Clay, KD, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala is the perfect blend of length skill, athleticism, and IQ. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Medu, he's checked in for Purdy. And Middleton subbed in for Bryn Forbes. And Chris, you know, you were talking about a couple of the nicknames for that Golden State Warriors lineup. Oh, yeah, but I mean, I mean they used it sparingly in the regular season. Uh, you know, it wasn't something they wanted you to get used to. The playmaking and the defensive versatility of, of that unit, to me, that's what stands out. It's tough for a traditional center to stay on the court against them, you know, with all that skill and mobility there. The movement and the shot selection are good there, but you can't hit them all. Middleton dishes to Pondexter. Rebounded by Yurepko. And so Cousins will bring it up for Golden State. Here's Igudala. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. That's seven points for Igudala. And when you can outscore your opponent in transition, that's always going to work to your advantage. Yeah, but you have to control the pace. You have to keep it up. Keep the tempo. That's how they built this lead. Passes to Middleton. With the teardrop, he lays it in. Middleton's got nine. Well, the float is a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. And so it's the Golden State Warriors out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. 
control the pace, get it to the right guy at the right time. These requirements top the list if you're a good point guard. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. The Spurs shooting 40% from the field. We've got Cunningham. He's out there with Quincy Pondexter. And it's White in at the point guard position. That's the San Antonio 5. Here's Igudala. The shot missing. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Outside, White. Here's Pondexter. He's covered by Igudala. Walker's gone three of eight, shooting from the floor. Livingston passes to Jones. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And White kicks to Pondexter. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Tries a three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Igudala wide open. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got assist number five here tonight. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Pondexter. It's good. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Outside, Jones. Iguodala outside. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Warriors ball. And the Warriors making a change here. McKinney's checked in. Here is Cook. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Five on the clock. Count that bucket. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, look, when you're giving up that type of height, you use your quickness. It's just that simple. And it's also a matter of skill. Here's Pondexter. See, Webb, when you look at how basketball is taught at early levels for these kids, middle school and then high school, anything there that you would change? Yes, I would change to developing all players and taking away positions. Interesting. When you are young and you're in, let's say, third grade and you're the tallest player on the team and I make you a center and I pull you to one end and I only show you how to make layups, I don't show you how to shoot threes or to dribble, I'm assuming that your body is always going to stay the same. And I believe that coaches should teach great skill sets, shooting, shooting passing, Quinn. dribbling. And when you do that, a player can then become the full player they're intended to be instead of teaching incrementally where a player may get stuck and identified as shots. this type of player his Two whole shots. time. I think that really what you need to do is teach full skill sets and allow players to develop. Just think if someone would have said, Kevin Durant, you can only shoot layups. We wouldn't be able to see the true unicorn that he is. Wonderful thought. And the first one drops. And so Cook nails both of them. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And the call will be against Sean Livingston. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul.
here's White. No good on the quick three. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And here's Livingston. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Uh, still with enough explosiveness and with great length to finish Sean Livingston. Spurs have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Cunningham passes to Pondexter. He kicks it to Cunningham. Defended by Jones. Clock at four. Puts one up from 19. A second chance effort, and the layup is good. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Here is Cook. Each team has one inactive player per night. Uh, would upping that amount, you think, C-Webb, uh, of, of active players on game day change anything at all? I don't believe so because the inactive player we're talking about usually is at the bottom of the roster. And so if you look at the next man up theory, that means that the last guy on the bench at that time, uh, it's his time to get that playing time. So I, I don't think that the inactive players would be able to change anything because it's still a team sport. And, and those guys earn their playing time in practice. And so that guy at the end of the bench is still one of the greatest players in the world and can contribute at any time. Livingston kicks to Yarebko. Back to Livingston. Pass to Cook. Here's the three. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got six assists here tonight. Spurs have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Walker taking his time here. Now Pondexter. Here's Cunningham. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Livingston with it. Working on Walker. Livingston, that's good. Great handles for a big guard. I mean, that's how Livingston creates his space. San Antonio's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Pondexter. Makes it off the glass. Pondexter's got four points this quarter. I, I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's McKinney. Rebound San Antonio. Pondexter's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside White. Chris Coach turnover happens a lot in the NBA. And there are some people that feel that, you know, teams are too quick to make a change. What do you think? Every situation is different. Sometimes it's obvious change is needed, but sometimes it feels more like desperations. Think about it. The best franchises typically have stability, and fans aren't stupid. They know when their team is just trying to throw a, a worm out there to catch and to see who they can get, or if they're using the past coach's escape rope, trying to redirect the emotions of the fans to direct them to cheer for their team uh, further on. But a lot of times, I tell you this, though, coaches getting fired are because the players don't execute and follow through. A lot of times, it's not the coach's fault, but usually they have to take the fall and that's what being the leader is all about and unfortunately for the coaches there is quick turnover but uh, hopefully they can land back on their feet at a new place with another job with a team that'll listen and let them set the culture good insight the warriors have gone seven of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far and some solid looks for them they get the rebound Yarebko can't get it to go and uh, a San Antonio shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. On Dexter with it. Ripped away. Here's McKinney inside. Jarebko. And then Jarebko with the dunk. 
And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other it, end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, <laughs> if, I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Well, well, hey, fellas, that's just like it's supposed to work. Don't give the D a chance to set up. So it's San Antonio now following the score by Golden State. He gets it in there. And giving up some height. He just finds a way to carve out a little separation. Well, it takes a lot of confidence and toughness to make that play. Pass to McKinney. Chris, we hear the word switchability. Popular term used these days. Talk about the importance of having guys who can defend multiple positions. It's so important because it allows for the flexibility with your matchups. You can avoid being forced into mismatches. So you definitely need players like that. However, Kev, I think that the NBA has gone switchability crazy. You shouldn't switch everything. Switching on defense should only be if the coach wants to take a player out the game or if it's just needed at the last second. Usually communication is the key because there are no new plays under the sun. You see the play coming and developing it, and if you can communicate, that's usually when you don't need to switch. I think coaches have lost trust in players' willingness to communicate, and switching has become kind of a lesser of two evils, I guess you could say, and I hope we get away from as much switching as we do because it puts guys in totally wrong positions, and if you have a smart offensive player, he'll pass his way out of that right to the guy with the mismatch. Your take is real interesting. Fires for three, and another three for Golden State. He is dominating this quarter. He sees a soft spot in the D, and he's attacking it. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Pondexter kicks to Cunningham. And he can't stop the run as he misses. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Cook the pass to McKinney. He dishes it to Thompson. Teardrop shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Thompson's got 22. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here is Forbes. He's covered by Thompson. With the teardrop. Good D by Thompson. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Oh, wonderful anticipation. He reads the play perfectly. Then with the quick reaction time. Now here's Jarebko. Golden State moving the ball around. Cook kicks to Jarebko. Shot clock at six. From the wing. And he connects with the jumper. Thompson's got six here in this quarter. He's got a great sense of exactly how much room he has to get his shot off. I mean, you don't see Thompson get a shot blocked too often. Here is Cunningham, defended by Jarebko. And here is Pondexter. Here's Cunningham. That three off the mark. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. So looking at the season total, this will be their 17th win. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for DeMarcus Cousins. Well, of all the things he did well, his passing was the most important. He spread the ball around, kept everyone involved, and their offense clicked. Now here's White, three-pointer, Pondexter. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. The dish to Cook. Back to Thompson. The pass to Cook. He 
He's feeling it. No good. Now here's White. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much with Kevin Durant. Katie, okay, slow start for you offensively, but you were able to stay aggressive. How do you keep that mentality as a great scorer? Well, you got to keep shooting, you know, no matter what happens. So it's easy to, uh, you know, play well throughout the game when you're making shots, but when you're missing, you got to get your mind right. And that's what I tried to do is just stay aggressive. And it sure showed out there. Thank you very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.